All right, we're going to plot the sum of some delta functions. So this summation here is very common. It's used in sampling. And it is the summation from n equals minus infinity to infinity of delta functions offset from 0 by n times capital T. So every element of this sum is a different offset because n has different values in this sum. So let me plot the first one, n equals 0, for example, and just pick the 0 element out of this summation. So n equals 0, we just have delta t. That's just delta t. Okay, so that is a delta function at 0. And it's of height 1 because we've got a unit out the front. Okay, let me pick another one and plot that underneath. So another element of this sum, I'm going to plot that function. So this function here was the function for n equals 0 n equals zero element gives a function. This is a function and it's zero everywhere except at zero. So what about the term n equals one? Well, that's also a function. That's a function in this summation. It's delta t minus capital T. Okay, so that's when the thing in the brackets equals zero is where this is going to go to. So when t equals capital T, so this is t, so when that equals capital T, we're going to have a delta. That is a function. It's zero everywhere except at that time. So what about n equals 2? Well, that's another of the element in this summation. And we'll plot that one here. t, well, that's delta of t minus 2t. So that's the delta shifted to the place little t equals 2 times t. This is 2t. Okay, and the same thing for negative values of n. Okay, so n is negative, it also holds. So we'll just pick one and we'll do n equals minus 1. Well, that's also a delta function. That's going to be delta of t plus t. n equals minus 1. That means t plus capital T. So that's happening at a value of minus t. That's that function. And this summation says we add up all these functions. So we add all of these together. So this function, which is 0 everywhere, has a delta function there, plus this one, which is 0 everywhere that has a delta there, plus this one, plus this one, gives us an overall function, pt, which is the addition of all those functions. There's a delta function at 0, there's a delta function at t, there's a delta function at 2t, 3t, and so on, because the summation goes up to infinity, and also minus t, minus 2t, and so on. So this is the function here, pt, that's the plot of this mathematical expression, which is a summation of delta functions.